Hello everybody, welcome back, and I am the Chornik, and today ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about Ash's team predictions for the brand new Pokemon series, what would be Pokemon Sword and Shield, what is his team going to be, now I was kind of inspired to make this video because he recently caught Dragonite, okay, and there's also a couple other teases as to what he could potentially capture, and him capturing Dragonite was like, what?! You know, his first Pokemon is a pseudo-legendary Pokemon he captures in this region. Or this, I should say region, but this series. Okay, and it's a Dragonite. So, this inspired me to make this video because we do... Nothing, you know, everything's off the table now. We don't... We have no idea what Pokemon he's going to end up capturing. We don't know if he's going to capture any new Galar Pokemon. Or if he's going to go and back and capture some... Pokemon from every region like what is he exactly gonna do is he gonna capture Pokemon that maybe the writers wanted him to capture before but never followed up on it so maybe they wanted him to capture a Dragonite way back in Kanto I have no idea but that is an awesome capture okay so we're gonna in this video we're gonna go and speculate based upon the same merchandising through the same lens I mean uh, the way that we were tease that Dragonite. I'm going to look through that lens and see if there's any other possible Pokemon that were on the posters, that were in the merchandising, etc. As well as upcoming episodes. I'm going to use all that information to basically speculate what his rest of his team could be. Now we don't know if he's going to capture any more. It could be very possible that Dragonite's the one and only one that he captures. It's also very possible that he only captures a few or a bunch or whatever. So exactly uh, determining what he's going to get or not get is going to be really, really tough this time around because it looks like his Pokemon are all Kanto so far with Pikachu, Mr. Mime, and Dragonite. But Mr. Mime, we don't even know if he's going to keep using Mr. Mime. Okay, he might just he might just have used them for that one battle and then leave it at that. Or he could bring it back multiple times. We don't know yet how long he's going to keep that Mr. Mon here for. But Dragonite was his first capture. So we're going to speculate at least what could be new captures to make a full team of six. Let's start off with my number one prediction, which is Lucario. Now... I think a lot of people are going to have this on their, on their list because Lucario was also teased the exact same way Dragonite was. It was in the exact same merchandising, the food, the, the freaking posters, and I, I honestly believe that Lucario is going to be Ash's now because they wanted to give Lucario to Ash a long time ago like and be able to telepathically speak to him, but it ended up just being a movie and they wrote it off as that, so... I really feel like maybe they'll now actually give him Lucario, which is actually going to start off as a Riolu, because in like the magazines and food or whatever, there's they have like Riolu versions. So I'm going to guess that he's going to get a Riolu first, first, and then he's going to evolve that Riolu into a Lucario. So that's my, my biggest number one prediction, I think. The most likely he's going to get is a Lucario. Ash is going to get Lucario because it's one of the most popular Pokemon and it just makes sense for the main character of the show to have the most popular Pokemon in his arsenal. So, I could very, very, very well see Lucario. After all, they do have Dragonite coming to the picture. I could see them maybe wanting to promote Pokemon right now in the best way, and that's to, for Ash to capture all the most well-known Pokemon. Like, Ash even having a Mr. Mime on his team. So, maybe they're trying to market, try to bring people back into the anime just by having you know, well-known Pokemon faces for Ash to be capturing. While as Go captures all the other Pokemon, you know what I mean? So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, now let's speculate on who the next Pokemon could be. The next one I could think of is maybe Grookey, because if he is going to capture a brand new Pokemon, a Galar form, you know, a Galar Pokemon, he's going to capture a Grookey. After all, Incineroar and Greninja were his past two main like starter Pokemon that fully evolved and so I could see Grookey fully evolving this time because he has a water starter fully evolved, fire starter fully evolved, and now a Rillaboom. It would just make sense. And if he does get a Sobble, it'll stay at a Sobble. So even if he does get a Sobble, I still think he's going to get a Grookey. But the Sobble is going to be like Rowlet where it's going to stay in its first form and then Rillaboom is going to, you know, be all are already fully evolved. Honestly, so far Lucario and Rillaboom are my two best guesses for what Ash is going to have. As well as in Super Smash Brothers, they had both Greninja and Incineroar, both Pokemon Ash owns. So I could see if they if they add Rillaboom, then that just adds you know more reason for Ash to have a Rillaboom also. So maybe they have some you know talks between Super Smash Brothers and Pokemon Company as to what Pokemon is going to be Ash's you know main. And they also move that into 
Smash Brothers later. I, I don't know. I don't know if they do that or not, but I'm pretty sure Rillaboom's gonna be in Super Smash, so I believe Rillaboom will also be on Ash's team. There are a couple episodes coming up, and these mainly have to do with the posters, okay? And even the, you know, episode summaries and whatnot of the Pokemon that Ash could potentially capture and what people are speculating he would get to Pokemon in particular or ghost type Pokemon. Chandelure and Gengar. Okay, so Gengar has already been in the Koharu episode, okay? But it's its appearance, that's not wasn't its only appearance. It's actually coming back. So this tells me that it's going to be important in a returning character, which means I think it's going to be captured by one of the cast. So either Koharu or Ash or Go, essentially. Okay. And I honestly think it could be really much well be Ash because it is specifically cursing him, taking over his body in this upcoming episode. So I'm going to guess that it's going to form some sort of bond with Ash while it's, you know, connected to him and whatnot. And then that's how they end up growing a relationship and Ash wants to capture him. Also, I could see them wanting him to have a Gengar because Gengar is like the most famous ghost type Pokemon. And they didn't give him the Haunter back in Kanto, you know, and I was really, really upset because Haunter, Haunter and Gengar were my favorite Pokemon back in Gen 1, so I would be really, really happy to see Ash capture Gengar, and so maybe they're finally allowing him to have that Ghost-type Pokemon in Gengar because they didn't give him the Haunter way back when, and Ash just allowed the Haunter to go with Sabrina. So now Ash is actually going to get a Gengar and have this fully evolved Ghost-type Pokemon, which... Completely makes sense because Ash, his first capture was a freaking full-blown Dragonite. So I, I'm pretty sure nothing would surprise us at this point. He has a freaking pseudo legendary. I mean, if he ends up capturing like Mewtwo or something later on in the series, like that would just be beyond any anyone's speculation. That would just be insane. But for the other Ghost type Pokemon, it is hinted that he's going to get the Chandler. A lot of people think he's going to get the Chandler because it was also in the posters as well as the same one Dragonite was in, and it's looking at Ash, and an upcoming episode describes them going to Unova and exploring the ruins, okay, which all the ghost Pokemon are in, of course, and that the Sarcophagus Pokemon and Chandler, I forget the Sarcophagus Pokemon's name, and some people speculate the Sarcophagus Pokemon's gonna be with Go, and Chandler is gonna be Ash's Pokemon, uh, just because they were on the posters, like, chasing after them, and Chandler was looking directly at Ash. So some people think that, oh, this is Ash's Pokemon. That's the other type, that's the other ghost type. I don't see why Chandler would be a good option for Ash, but some people say Chandler is really expressive, and he might fit Ash well, so maybe that could work. I'm not a huge fan of Chandler, nor is it, like, a main popular Pokemon, but... I guess I'm okay with him capturing a Chandelier, at least some Ghost-type Pokemon, because Ash has like little to no Ghost-type Pokemon. Now, as for Pokemon that are going to come back, it does hint that Ash Greninja is going to return because he was in new re-released plushies, okay? As well as he was also in the poster, okay, at Lumio's Tower. But this also hints that Talonflame could also return because Talonflame was in both posters, both reveal posters, both the green one and the one where Ash and Go are on the Pokeball, right? He's also there next to Lumio's Tower. And he's also there next to all the Pokemon that Serena owns, which, I mean, if you want to take that as a hint that Serena's gonna return, uh, go ahead, I guess. But, you know, there's a Fennekin, there's a... Sylveon, and then there's the evolved form of Pancham all standing next to each other, so, you know what I mean? But maybe that hints at Serena returning in some capacity, but uh, that's not the purpose of this video, ladies and gentlemen. Also, with Pokemon returning, Charizard is highly thought of to return. There were, like, leaks and, you know, supposed leaks, I guess, of him having a child, a little baby Charmander, which makes sense for that poster, because there's a little Charmander on Charizard's back. But it could be that that Charizard is just playing with the three Kanto starters, that being Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, who are also all together right there on the top of the poster. Um, and so, like, the fact that Charizard is just flying with Charmander, I think people might be just looking at that in a different way. It could just be the fact that, you know, that Charizard could be Leon's, and it's playing with the Pokemon, the three starter Pokemon that are at, you know, Koharu's dad's lab. I, I keep forgetting the, the professor's name, but Koharu's dad, uh, that laboratory, because he has the starters there, 
So it could just be Ash's Charizard or Leon's Charizard playing with those three. But it looks like a lot of the images, and I wanted you guys to really look closely at those posters because in those posters, it really hints and shows a lot of elements from the different episodes that are coming up, episodes that have you know already aired. Because you could see the gigantic Snorlax, you have the Dragonite up on there, you have, like I said, upcoming episode with the ruins. Okay, you have Chandler and the Sargophagus Pokemon there. You even have the Grogunk and the Piplup climbing up the mountain, like in the poster too. So I'm saying there's a lot of Pokemon here that are going to be featured in the anime. Why would they just throw these Pokemon up there if they're not going to show them? Potentially, he could be getting that Flygon. He could be getting Tyranitar, which in my opinion, like if he went and got went to Johto to get a Johto Pokemon, it would be that Lavatar that he once took care of, but then eventually had to let go back to its family. But maybe it fully evolved into a, into a Tyranitar, and now he's going to fully actually capture it this time uh, as a fully evolved you know, Tyranitar. So that would be awesome, because Tyranitar is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. But I do think all the Pokemon on that poster, especially the one that the Pokeball with Ash and Go on it, you know, with all the regions surrounding the Pokeball, that one I say look at really, really closely because all the episodes so far could tie into that poster. So just look at it really closely, guys, and post in the comment section below your thoughts and feelings. What Pokemon do you think he's en end up gonna capture? Maybe he's gonna capture one from every region, okay? So if he is going to capture one from every region, who would it be most likely? You guys can post in the comment section below, or if you know, there's one Pokemon you would like him to capture from every generation, uh, what Pokemon would those be? And post it in the comment section below. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all my speculation and stuff on just like the merchandising and the posters, okay? So I do think he's going to have a couple Pokemon that could potentially return, and his new captures are probably going to be Lucario and Rillaboom, and then I also see him obtaining maybe that Chandler, the Gengar, and maybe a couple other Pokemon on that poster. So look at the poster, and if there's a certain Pokemon that you guys think he's gonna have, you guys can post in the comment section below as well. I am mainly looking at, you know, the merchandise and plushies, the food, everything that's been released over there, because that also hinted at Dragonite, so I'm using the same logic, the same lens to look at what other Pokemon he could potentially get. So those are all my speculations for now. Is returning Pokemon, maybe Ash Greninja, Charizard, Talonflame, Rowlet even, because Rowlet's on the posters too. So maybe when he goes to certain regions, maybe there's that one Pokemon from that region that follows him around. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I love your faces. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Post in the comment section below. Make sure you have subscribed if you have not subscribed yet. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you a lot for watching this video. Have a wonderful day, and peace off. Thank you very much.